Hey guys, Will Patterson here again with another Illustrator CC tutorial and today I'm going to show you how to create some symmetrical line art uh, with an Illustrator and it's really simple and really fun to do and it's just something that I do to get inspiration and to make things look cool. You can even make some sort of tribal looking tattoos out of it. So here we go, we have here um, some symmetrical line art here and it's vector format and it looks really uh, cool and the reason why it looks good is because uh, it's pleasing to our eye whenever we see something symmetrical. So as you can see, I've only worked on sort of from about here. I'm going to put up my um, uh, my guides here and you'll see. So I've only worked on this top corner here and uh, that is generally everything I've worked on. Then I've just copied it over this way and copied the whole bit here down that way. And it makes it look really cool and snazzy looking because it's all fitting into place. And our eyes and the human sort of nature is that if anything looks symmetrical, we sort of take pleasure in looking at it. That's why we find some people more attractive if they have a symmetrical looking face. Um, that's scientific, but it's the same with design. If things are symmetrical, we sort of like the design and the look of it. And that's why you probably might like this design on the way it looks or it's pleasing to the eye. So I'm going to show you how to create this. So I've made a new document and I've gone ahead and put my guides in. Um, this is sort of an advanced tutorial, it's for people uh, who have a graphics tablet, uh, you can't really use a mouse for this, it doesn't really work because you can't get the variations of the lines, but I'm going to go ahead and press shift and B, uh, and this will get me to my blob brush tool, and you can see I'm using it now, which is a vector based blob brush tool, and I'm going to show you how to uh, change this. So go to your blob brush tool that's selected already, and just press uh, twice, double click on it, and make sure your fidelity is down to accurate, your roundness is at 100% and your size can be whatever it is, but make sure that you've got pressure and you've got a variation um, as well. So you've got the variation at its highest. So my size is eight and it'll vary, it'll vary of eight points depending on the pressure. Angle is at zero and that's fixed. Roundness is 100% and that's fixed. Press okay, very, very simple. And uh, on my graphics tablet, I can just use a scroll wheel to make it bigger or smaller. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom right in and then I'm going to make sure this is quite small. I don't want to go right in actually, we'll go about here. And the first thing I want to do is I'm going to just test out my lines and make sure if I just do it like something like this. And I'm just going to keep in this one section here, I'll try, so I'm going to make this a bit smaller. But I want to create a base thing here and this is just very quick. Take a few goes. I've got a speed app coming up of the one that you just saw. It's not finished yet, but yeah, you'll be, you'll be able to see it. Okay, so I've done one thing that I'd actually like that. So I'm just going to redo it. Okay, I like that more. Uh, and I'm going to start adding little bits to it. So I've done my main part here. And the way that I like to do it is I like to add um, smaller bits to it as you go along. But obviously you've got to spend more time on it than I'm doing now. Um, but you can just add whatever you want to it. Making sure you're spending enough time on it. I'm going to add a bit. A bit of something here. Like so. It's a bit difficult to show you guys because I haven't really got the... Uh, creative uh, thought process on and I have got like my thing is variable width um, here as you can see I'm keeping this one quite thick as you can see I'm just doing this and you can create really technical patterns or whatever and the way that I do this is I try and fill in like a square shape so I would go here and I would press shift and hold down or something if I can. Make sure that's in the center. Maybe get something coming off onto the side here or something. And it's all about playing with it, really. I'm just going to copy this over here. Make this smaller. Merge them two together. And you can sort of see I'm building just one side of this. Even though this bit's in the center, I'm just building or trying to build uh, one side 
of this and you can create whatever you want and it should look all right hopefully um as you can see i've just resorted to squiggling because it's easier okay so that's the most terrible sort of looking line thing there but i'm going to show you a really cool thing so what we're going to do is we're going to highlight all these and press command g and once you've done your full corner here you need to highlight them all press command g as i did then which will group them all together stay highlighted and press o this is where you guys need to come into play so you're going to zoom right in and hold alt and in the center here and if you don't have your smart guides on you'll need them so go to view and go to smart guides or press command u and make sure they're on okay and then we're going to go and find the middle here and it should just lock straight in holding alt and then pressing will give you this dialog box which will reflect it so we're going to reflect it vertically and we're going to press preview to make sure it is yep and we're going to press copy and that'll copy it over and i'm sort of getting a butterfly look here which is cool and then we're going to copy all them press command g again and do the exact same on the exact same axis here but we're going to go horizontal make sure you preview it and copy and we have this so even that it doesn't look too bad because it's symmetrical and it looks cool and even here we could add some things here we could add some uh, lines and it will hopefully look all right if we can make it look all right i can just add one thing there press o go to the center press vertical copy we've got it and it, you can keep adding and adding different things and you can create some cool line art in that way now that's not the best but i hope you guys enjoyed the video it sort of looks like a butterfly um it wasn't meant to i mean whatever but if you guys can learn one thing out of this is that it's a very powerful feature to use symmetry uh, within abstract design so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video